Marie says, I have OCD and I've obsessed over career education path for the last seven or so years. It's a daily, weekly habit of researching, committing, quitting, repeat. It's debilitating. How can I treat this? Allow yourself, Marie, to pick something and stick with it, even if it is uncomfortable. And you may say, oh, but what if it's wrong? Well, after you've completed something, only then will you be able to tell if that's the case. You will not know that until something is done. And if you keep doing what you're doing, you will never complete anything. And therefore, you will never allow yourself the chance to even see if something might be satisfying because all you've done is constantly question and doubt and sought the grass greener on the other side experience. And what I want you to do is just, even if you flip a coin, I don't care, take one of the things that you've been interested, go with it, and know that going into that means you are going to doubt it. You are going to have uncertainty about it. Okay, there you go, right? I would contend that almost anybody in any kind of program at times has doubts about it. I had doubts about graduate school when I was in it at times. Was this really the right thing to do? Is this really all the gruelingness of this that I have to do? Is this really what I want to do for 12 years of college that I did? And I ultimately did it. But boy, there were days I was thinking, why am I doing this? What is going on? Uh, if every time that I had a doubt or uncertainty, I would still be in school today because I would have gone through probably cooking school next and then I would have done photography next and then I would have done uh, who knows what after that. And, and I'm sure I would have had doubts all on the way on all of those things. And therefore, I would still be uh, not here doing this. I would still be in school, searching through catalogs, researching things, wondering what is my passion? What is my real thing? What am I supposed to do? What am I called for? Right. Uh, same kind of thing in relationship OCD. Right? Who's my soulmate or something like that. We get, we get these notions in our head that there's this one thing for us and that if we can't find it or we don't have a hundred percent assurance on that one thing for us, then we'll go back to an earlier question. We got FOMO. We're missing out on something like that. I think there's multiple things for us. I think there's multiple people for us. And I think there's multiple ways for us to be happy. OCD says, no, there's only one. And you must know what it is before you go do it, even though you can't ever know what the end is going to be until you actually do it. And OCD says that's not acceptable, though. So you do what OCD wants and you'll spend the rest of your life doing what you're doing. Or you stick with something all the way through and you see what it's like when you get to the end. Check us out at nocd.com, an online platform for the treatment of OCD. If you're looking for help with OCD or hoarding or BFRBs or tics, we'd love to work with you. nocd.com, 15-minute free call with our care team. We are there for you. Thanks, everybody. We'll talk to you soon. Have a good one. Happy to have you here as always. <laughs>